This is a quick tutorial to show how to use Excel to keep track of class attendance. Here I've already set up a worksheet with my class of students. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to look at just five or six weeks of attendance, but of course it's easy to add days. The attendance log is going to start on September 1st. To add days, I simply click on the blue square in the bottom right hand corner of the cell and drag to the right. So when I'm in class, I quickly open my spreadsheet and insert an X for any absent students. So on September 1st, if Evelyn is out, I'll insert an X next to her name. After a week, my role might look like this. And after a month, my role might look like this. There are two things I want to know when I consult my role. The first is the attendance record of a particular student. Let's take the example of Clarence Adams. This box, it will need to show the number of X's which have been inserted for Clarence. So let's start with Clarence. We're going to use two functions to calculate the X's. First, we'll do Clarence's row and then copy that formula down to the rest of the students. Count if is the function we'll use to count up the X's. This function looks in a range of cells for a particular value. In our case, that value is x. Let's insert the function starting with an equals sign, equals, and then count if, and then open a left bracket. And we need to tell Excel what range of cells to look in. So I click on the first cell for Clarence, first day, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and go to the last day and then click. Excel will insert automatically the, uh, the names which describe that range of cells. Next, I click, I type a comma, and I put the value that we're looking for in inverted commas. So that value is in X, close the inverted commas, close the bracket, press return, and I get a one, which is correct because the Excel formula has looked all the way across this range of cells. It's found one instance of an X, it's totaled that up and it's put it inserted it in here. And if I click on that cell and click drag downwards on the blue square, all of the X's are totaled up. And I can see at a glance now that Joanna Black has been out three times and there's one person has been out four times in fact, Andy Hart and so on. So this row shows me the number of times particular students have been out. There's one thing I don't like about it. I don't like the zeros being displayed. So in the, in, in the case where a student has not been out, in the case of Timothy Chapman, I would like no value to be shown at all. So I'm going to undo the formula by pressing Command Z, and I'm going to cut this formula out for a moment by click, clicking after the equals, press Command X to cut out the formula. And I'm going to do something else. I'm going to use an if statement to say, okay, if no absences are, have been found, then don't show anything at all. So it's going to look like this. If, and the, if the calculation, which we were using a moment ago, which is this calculation, if it's greater than zero, that's greater than zero, then show that calculation. So I'm going to paste the calculation back in again. Otherwise, I'm going to put in a comma. Otherwise, show nothing. And to show nothing, we need a pair of quotation marks with nothing between them. So quotation mark, quotation mark, close the right bracket and press the green tick. And again, we get our one on the right hand side, except there's an if now built in, so if there are no X's found, nothing will be shown in this cell. If we click drag downwards and release, we can see all of the uh, absences, but in the case of students where, who have not been missing, nothing is displayed in the cell. Similarly along the bottom, this cell is going to show me the number of students who are out on the 1st of September. I want to use a very, very similar formula this time. Again, I would normally do equals count if, 
and I select the range, click on the top, and then hold down the shift key and click on the bottom, and that's the range. Put in a comma, and I tell Excel to look for an X between inverted commas. Close the right hand bracket and press enter. And it's found two students. Now, again, if I click drag to the right, it shows me these zeros again, and I don't want those. So I'm going to click a command Z to undo. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to cut out this formula for a moment. Command X or Control X if you're on a PC. And I'm going to say again, if the formula we just used finds a value greater than zero, then put in that value. Otherwise, put in nothing, close the right hand bracket, click the green tick, and we get a two. That's two students were out on the 1st of September. I'm going to click on the blue square, drag to the right, and release. And at a glance, we can now see that four students were out on the 5th of September, three students were out on the 12th of September, no students were out on the 22nd of September, and so on. And that's it. That's how I track the attendance of my students in class using an Excel spreadsheet. Hope you found this helpful. Until next time.